Nadal Wonder finally got out of the hospital after his accident, and I guess someone might have found footage of the actual accident? If you guys didn't know about Nadal Wonder, he's a big YouTuber that posts on Nadal Wonder Official, as well as his brother channel Juju and Nadal, and he's closely related to another big YouTuber, Salish Matter. Drop a like if you ship Nailish too. Okay, so Nadal was recently involved in a scooter accident that left him in a coma. There were fears he might not remember his past and other concerns from his head injury. And I was able to find out a lot of info you might not know surrounding this event, including a moment they could have kissed. But first, here's Salish Matter's reaction while he was in the hospital. This picture is from the Wonder Family channel's Instagram, and as you can see, Salish is showing her support with this comment. But she even makes a longer post to show her support, and this is what it says. Nadal and wrote, Dear Nadal, I hope you feel better. I miss you then, and I can't wait to see you again sometime soon. I hope you have a really fast recovery and tie them for being the best friend ever, and I hope you stay optimistic even though it will be challenging. Now, those were super sweet comments, and being a big YouTuber and just being released from the hospital, he actually goes on the news and we could see a reaction directly from Nadal himself. He tells us his thoughts and everything that he remembers from the accident, but you guys have got to see what he says that saved him at the end of this. Well, new at 11, a Clovis teen and YouTube star is now at home and recovering after getting hit by a car while riding an electric scooter. Nidal Wonder has 2.2 million followers on YouTube where he shares funny videos with his brother, but for the past week, he has been fighting for his life. I'm very lucky to be in a wheelchair and not in the hospital right now. One week after getting hit by a car riding his electric scooter, Nidal Wonder is home from the hospital and surrounded by his family. They like put me to sleep for like five days. I was in a coma for five days, basically. So the mom is talking about her reaction to this, too, and I can't help but feel bad for her and the rest of the family, as it's got to be so hard to see your kid in this condition, and you have to see what she says about what potentially saved him. The 13-year-old YouTube star has over 2 million followers, and his videos regularly get hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of views. He films anything from pranks to challenges with his friends. You gotta see. You gotta see. No, you're seeking. But on March 5th, his mom, Adrika Ajib, says she got the call no mother wants to get. Her other son called her and let her know Nidal had been hit by a car. Really what I started to do was just pray and he was already loaded in the ambulance. So while he was in the hospital, a lot of people are praying for him and I guess it all worked out as listen to what Nadal says saved him. But she put her faith in God. I really just let it all go in God's hands and I said, he's yours. I hope that you let us keep him, but he's yours. Nidal says he doesn't remember what happened before or during the crash. Situation like without him, I. I probably would still be in the hospital. But before we see the footage of what a fan said was Nadal's accident, another fan found this clip of him proposing to another girl. A lot of fans saw this and were worried that he wasn't going to be seeing Salish anymore. But you guys have got to see how this ends. Peja, we've had a very good time together, and I just want to say we've become really close. So I have a question for you. Will you marry me? <gasps> Wait, are you crazy? No, I'm not crazy. Look it. So will you marry me? Finger. It's just a prank. Do you think I would actually marry you? Can ring back. <laughs> oh, it's a okay. Now that was just a prank, but this clip might not be, as Nadal could have accidentally revealed he kissed Salish. Fans remembered this clip too and were worried because some comments were saying that due to his brain injury, he could forget cherished moments like this one. You guys have got to see what he says. Have you ever kissed Salish before? Um. Well, uh, let's move on to the next question. No, 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 you have to answer. That's a little suspicious of you. Uh, yeah, on the hand, right? On the hand. No, 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 we met on the lips. Have you ever yeah, kissed on. on the lips before? On the next question. No, 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 you have to answer, answer it. Like, we met on the lips. Oh, that's a suspicious question. Size! <laughs> you know? So answer the question. It's a yes or no question. Uh, um, yeah, I'll tell you your answer. Oh my god! Win! That's a good What do you mean win? I said no. 
Yeah. But anyways, now that Nadal is out of the hospital from his surgery, he's going back to get his staples removed and get a checkup. Apparently, he had to get 30 of them, and I'd be so scared. But after he gets them out, they end up checking his leg out, and it looks to be healing pretty well. At this point, they end up getting a new cast color. Comment down below what cast color you'd want, but he ends up picking the light blue, according to Juju's Snapchat response. And he pretty much gets sent home after his checkout. But right after getting home, Nadal goes on a live stream and answers a fan's questions about him and Salish dating. And he says no, but there's a big plot twist. You guys have got to see the end. Are you and Salish actually together? Uh, nah, but we're really good friends, so we make videos together. That's, that's pretty much it. We're not, like, together like that. Not yet. So, he says not yet, so we'll see what that really means soon. As Salish visits Nadal for the first time after the accident here, and I think this is so sweet of her to do this as she lives far away and had to take a plane with Jordan to come visit. As you can see, they're hanging out with Salish, and she looks really worried here. Some fans are commenting she was scared that he may not remember her, but she ends up taking him on a walk outside and even answers fan questions that she posted on her Instagram stories. She even was able to sign her name on Nadal's cast and even put hearts around it, which fans love to see. But at this point, Nadal goes on a live stream and explains further. You guys have got to see the unexpected thing he says about Salish at the end. Yo. Sorry guys, I'm waiting for EJ to join. Or Evan. Oh, have you request. Yo, we've been praying for you. Thank you so much, guys. I know you're requested. I know you're requested. I'm trying to... Nadal's about to get into live streaming, too. Yeah, uh, on kick. On kick. On kick, right? So, now, he gets on stream with his brother and friends and answers some fan questions and even talks about streaming himself after he's fully healed. He shows us his cast and even more unknown details about the accident. But just wait until he mentions Salish. Oh, guys, I am feeling much better, but I did get a cast on. Wait, let me show it. Okay, my pants are over it, but I did get a cast because I broke my leg, but yeah, kind of kind of looks cool, but my toe. I can wiggle my toe. So he seems to be doing really well talking to fans and everything, but this part of the live stream is what interested fans the most. He says something super unexpected here on stream, and some fans even reacted to what he says. I love to say it like Just get to together. So cute. TBH, I think we all have known that, but still. Now, we may actually have Nadal's live accident footage. A fan sent this in, and it seems like a scooter accident with a car, which fits the description of Nadal's accident, as you can see in the description of the video. But it turns out that this was not Nadal. So if you guys ever see this, I don't think it's real, as the car is different, and he's wearing yellow that day too. And Nadal and Salish will post a video explaining even more, so make sure to check out their channel for more info. In another clip, I found this TikTok of someone having a scooter incident, and the guy who posted it says it was Nadal. Well, I actually found the original video from YouTube, and I don't think it was Nadal either, as the background and even his clothes seem different. So if you guys ever come across this video, I don't think this one is real either. 